Right, so anybody who's made their own cabs before knows that there's an art to putting Tolex on. It's uh, it easy. it's upholstery, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it ain't easy. So we have these pre-cut dies that will cut a piece of vinyl to the approximate size to fit the cab that they're going to try and wrap. So they'll go ahead and lay the die on the table, lay some vinyl on the die, and then uh, lay this giant piece of breadboard here on top and roll it through this press machine, and that will give us uh, an approximate cut for what is uh, attempting to be wrapped at the moment. Yeah, we can, uh, why, don't you, why don't you watch him lay it out, yeah. Because he does it, folds it in half, lays it out, makes sure the die covers the whole thing. And these edges are sharp. Kids, do not try this at home. No, I don't know about that, but. So press the button and uh, it's Toll House Cookies out the other side. So there's a couple more ready for wrap. So this is the glue machine that'll administer a nice even layer of glue across the piece of vinyl. Lay it out on the table there. And this is the crucial part where the cabinet has to be placed in the starting place exactly where it's supposed to go. He lays the one edge down, make sure that front edge is correct, and drop the rest back. If he goes to fold the thing all the way around, and if it's off a little bit, front to back, left to right, you, oh. you don't really get a second chance to peel it off and try and replace it. You want a nice, even layer of glue all the way around, so uh, that initial placement is crucial. And then they'll go ahead and, and get some of it to settle down. Make sure there's no bubbles, that kind of a thing. And then uh, the bottom seam is uh, a very cool part where you get sort of the hidden seam where they can make it so that it just butts right, right together correctly. And uh, we'll watch that process here in just a minute. Makes the initial cut all the way through. Pulls the excess piece out, pulls the second piece out, and boom, you got a perfect seam. You might want to zoom in on that seam. What seam? I don't see a seam. You see a seam? Is there a seam? So again, it's a heated glue. The guys are working against the clock with temperature and all of that. And uh, they just do an amazing job making us look good. These guys are great. So we've got the various processes of speakers being installed into combos, chassis being installed into heads, the grills get put on, uh, logos, rear panels. It's, uh, this is where Basically, the chassis that you saw on the other side are becoming an amplifier. A real live rock and roll butt kicking amp. So here we have uh, final cab assembly where we've taken a cab that's been covered with vinyl, had the corners put on, handles, rubber feet. Um, the jack plate was pre-installed, so he's going to go ahead and screw that in place and uh, it'll roll around the corner and get a few other finishing touches like a front grill and a logo and then go through a play test process over here. And as we can hear in the background, there's one more final playing test. This would be the final play test and uh, again, what we affectionately refer to as the bubble. The bubble. 
boy and, in the bubble. It's not John Travolta. Who is this it, guy? It is not John Travolta. It's our man Steve Froberg, who is actually a bass player, but is still kicking all our asses on guitar at this point as well. It's, it's not even fair. Basically, just, just making pure noise like that really actually gives you a good sense of what if the pot's working right or not, as opposed to just sitting here and playing a bunch of riffs. Sometimes it's hard if you're just, uh, whatever. It's, you don't really hear the pot, but if you, if you turn it like that, it, it gives you a, a much better idea of what's going on. Aside from the fact that you need three hands to do <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You kind of listen for tube noise. I mean, that's pretty basically normal, but... The amp is cranked, right? We really, we really push these things, and then, uh, and then basically, once all that's okay, you do what they call the thump test, and you just kind of do a basic. Uh... Just listen for rattles, and this one's okay. So I'm gonna pass it. And that, that's about it. So sometimes you fail them. Sometimes I do fail them. There's uh, rattles I can't find or fix. Um, Something the text might have missed, that's kind of my job. Uh, sometimes you get a wrong value pot and you can hear that right away. Um, a bad toggle switch, it's pretty rare. Um, maybe a tube might have blown in it. That happens occasionally and then I'll have to fail it if it does something. But uh, pretty rare, but for the most part, yeah, sometimes I do fail them. That's, that's my word. job. I'm the last guy. <laughs>